So here at the genomics lab at Ikrasat near Hyderabad, they're optimizing their drought resistance and mildew resistance in plants using marker-assisted breeding. So how does this work, Dr. Rossfield? Well, we start off with extracting the DNA from the plants we're interested in with. Um, and how do you get the DNA? We take small leaf samples, we put that in a tube with some metal beads, and those tubes get shaken very rigorously for about 15 minutes in a special machine yeah. to disrupt the cells, the DNA gets released from the cells and we can then purify the DNA from there. Okay, and what's, what's this ma machine over here? Is this the PCR machine? Yes, so once we have isolated the DNA, we need to amplify the DNA fragments that we are interested in that will be associated with genes for either drought tolerance or disease resistance, etc. Okay, so... so in this machine, this is where the, the uh, PCR is set up on a very large scale so that we can amplify these DNA fragments from very many samples at once. Okay, and then you have, you have the segment that you want and you bring it over here to this machine That's correct. to look for the amplified gene, to look for the gene. That's correct. Once we have amplified the DNA fragments we are interested in in the PCR process, we bring them to the DNA sequencer, which then detects uh, the presence or absence of the particular fragments that we are looking for. And then you have that fragment and you can use it to breed hybrids of the plant. So you can get drought resistance, for example, in a variety which wouldn't normally have it. Yes, that's correct. Once we have identified certain plants or genotypes that have the genes we're interested in, we can use those through breeding to introduce that gene through conventional breeding practices into uh, other varieties that we wish to transfer that particular characteristic. And you also have another lab here which is doing transgenic work. So you can actually take the segment of the DNA that you want and introduce that into the DNA of another plant altogether. Yes, that's correct. So we have some work going on where we have particular uh, genes involved in drought tolerance and also in enhanced nutrition that we are introducing into uh, certain legumes like groundnut in particular to try and enhance those properties in those. And, and what's the point of this? Why, why do you do this rather than conventional breeding? For some traits in certain plant species, um, those traits don't really exist within the germplasm okay. of that species. So the only way to introduce it is to, is to bring it from and also this is much faster method than conventional breeding technologies, isn't it? It can be faster, but unfortunately the regulatory process is very long. So it oh, can, well, you that can, can slow you, you down. You can develop the plants, but then to get them to the field can take a long time. Okay, thanks very much.